Uh, my name is David Brooks. I am the co-writer and director of The Yankles. I'm Zev Brooks. I'm David's brother, uh, producer and co-writer of The Yankles. And The Yankles is about a yeshiva baseball team that hooks up with an ex-Major League Baseball player and how they fare together. They, they managed to make it into the College World Series. And it's being uh, released by Magnolia Pictures all over USA, Canada, the Caribbean Basin on Blu-ray, DVD, and whatnot June 5th. And it'll be in LA playing at some Lemley Theaters and Encino and, and Beverly Hills starting May 18th. What does your movie say about Judaism to the world? One thing we tried to do with this film is create a movie with a lot of Yiddishkeit that doesn't display on Jewish stereotypes but teaches people, Jews and non-Jews, uh, about, about the culture that makes it, uh, makes it relevant in, in, in modern society. And I think they really enjoy it. It's, it's fun, it's a comedy, and it's, at the same time though, it's, uh, it's got a lot of heart. What do you think the Gentile world will think about uh, Hasidim or Haredim from this movie? Well, uh, we played the movie in front of uh, thousands of, of Gentile audiences uh, and they, they love it because it, it's a window onto a world that they don't know much about. And for them it's a new experience. It, it's hard for somebody who doesn't understand an Orthodox Jew to, to understand them without something like a movie to, to open up that world. And that was one of our goals in making the movie, to, to spread the word that the Orthodox Jews are like normal people. They're like every person. They have the same needs and wants. They just live life by their principles. And, and that's very important to them, and that's part of one of the themes of the movie, uh, not putting your passions above your principles. And we showed the movie actually at a, a festival in Indianapolis called The Heartland. They give out the truly moving picture awards, and we were the, uh, first of all, the second highest attended feature out of 25. We were uh, one of the five top, we won a, a thing called a Crystal Heart, one of the top five features, and we got an audience rating there, 4.38 out of five, and this is a completely non-Jewish audience, so they really responded well to the movie. So that's why, you know, that's why Magnolia Pictures picked it up, because they know it's not just for Jews, it's for everybody, but it's something unique and fresh, I think. What kind of distribution will it be in? Well, Magnolia Pictures is putting it out on Blu-ray, DVD, pay-per-view, Netflix. It's going to be have some limited theatrical. It's playing in L.A. at the Lemley Theaters in Beverly Hills. How about New York? Seattle. New York, we're showing it May 29th at the JCC oh, in, on Amsterdam Street in Manhattan. Am Amsterdam Avenue. Amsterdam Avenue. Okay. You're, you're from L.A. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, sorry. But we will be there. We'll, we'll both be there to talk about the movie after yeah. the screening. But it's, it's going to be a premiere in New York City. It's never played there. So May 29th. Uh, 7.30 p.m. How do you suppose the Haredim will react? Well, why don't you answer that, the religious? Well, we... I think they're, they're going to appreciate that we've made a movie that, that portrays their community in a very positive light. We don't make fun of them. With, we don't play on stereotypes. In fact, we've been told that the movie has... Uh, it's, very, it's very unlike most movies that portray Orthodox with stereotypes. So we don't have any stereotypes in our movie. And, we, and as I've said, we've played in front of large audiences of the Orthodox, and they've loved it. They've said to us, where'd you get all those yeshiva bothers? And, uh, and they fully bought into what we've, what we've created. I remember, I remember being at screenings, and they would ask me to sign a poster to like make it out to Red Yitzchak, and it was very interesting, you know. Were they real yeshiva bothers in the movie? Yeah, we showed it in Nyack, New York. They have a very big community there near Muncie. And, uh, well, but I mean, the some... baseball players, are, there, are no, they really? In, in, in the movie, we hired actors, some Jewish, some not Jewish. But that's part of the, the magic of, of making a movie. You have to hire actors who can, who can play the role. So, no, they're not real yeshiva buffers, but we taught them the best that we could. And we've had rabbis on the set who acted as rabbinical consultants for the uh, authenticity to make sure that everything that these, these players and these actors did was truly authentic to the Orthodox community. Right, right. You have to, you have to. Pitching and hitting? Did you have uh, did you have a rabbinical pitching and hitting coaches? I'm, I'm sorry, what was rabbinical that? pitching and hitting coaches? <laughs> no, we had our baseball consultants though. We had to work both ends of the movie. Yeah. You know. How did you get a movie like this financed? That's the hardest part, financing a film like this. It was just knocking on a lot of doors, raising money with the script and and when the film was done with the work print and so on and so forth. So, but we raised the money to make this movie, by, for the most part, from friends and family. It's a very independent feature, and that's why we're very excited that Magnolia picked up on it. It's really just the two of us with this dream and the desire to make a very moving and entertaining mainstream film, and, and we think we accomplished that. We're very excited about the awards we got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Beautiful. Thank Thanks you. for that.